So here we have the BMW 320i M Sport uh, Automatic on a 69 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door estate car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that using the button on the key or by pressing the button on the tailgate itself. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get four leather seats, as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the far left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge, followed by the speedometer, the rev counter, and then the cool and temperature gauge on the right-hand side. In the middle, you can see the total mass of the car, which are 2,924. You can change the information displayed above that by pressing buttons on the steering wheel for various bits of trip computer information. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side we have stereo and phone controls. Uh, the phone controls can only be used after you paired the phone up and that's done on the central screen which we'll come to in just a moment. Just behind the steering wheel we have a minus and plus paddle, uh, other way around of course, minus and plus, so that's so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. So over in the centre, we have the uh, sat nav for the car. So this is BMW's business nav. Uh, there's a full video that shows how this works that you can find on our website and also on our YouTube channel as well. When it comes to music in this car, we have DAB radio, FM radio, AM radio, a CD player, Bluetooth audio, so you can stream your music wirelessly, and we have USB input as well. And all the controls that I'm, all the, the movement I'm making on the screen, all being done using the iDrive system, which essentially is this dial, although you can use these buttons for certain operations, so to go to your satellite navigation, for example, or your media, or back to the main menu, can all be done from here. And then, as I say, every other movement is done using the dial itself. Working our way down, we have the main volume for the stereo, we have the CD player just there. We then have dual zone climate control, so you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures, the fan speed up, and of course, down from here, you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed individually on either side of the car. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns the air conditioning on, or you can hit auto, and the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking control of the fan speed and the direction of the air. So override that, simply press the auto button again. This car's also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each. Under that, we have two uh, cup holders and a 12 volt charging socket the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. And then finally, these buttons just here. So this turns off the traction control. And this button, I'll show you up on the screen. We can put the car into sport mode. We can put it into sport plus mode. We can go back down to comfort, which is your everyday driving, and also Eco Pro as well. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.